Shalom, Shalom, Shalom. This is Amma Warren from the Lions Den Camp of Yasha Allah. Coming at you guys for another lesson. Hope it's edifying to the Akim, to the Akwafim, to anyone that's out there listening. But before I get into it, I want to give all praises to the Father and the Son and the Holy Prophet, two names. And I want to say, Call Halayim Yahweh Law, Yahweh Bahashim Yahweh Bahashim Ha Raka Kodash Ma'amoth. Double honors to the apostles and the elders of GMS. Salutations to the Akim. It's pushing this truth diligently around the four corners of the earth. Also, double honors also to my elder, Ahir Wan, by Yasha Allah, of the Lions Den Camp of Yasha Allah. All right, the lesson I'm getting into today is based upon um, distrust not to fear the Lord and putting not that confidence in, in, a, in an unfaithful man. All right. Because, hey, we are, again, in the times of Jacob's trouble. We are in the times of desolation. We are in the times of famine. We are in the times of, you know, destruction. All right? Distress. And also salvation. Because that's going to come out of her, right? But, you know, the reason why I'm going into, the, into these topics, man, because our people are still falling out of men. And, and that's the same reason why we are in this. That's why we in this captivity to, today, man. Following out the men, all right. Following after their own minds, all right. Being this, cause this is what the, the mind is deceitful above all things, man. Our people are still caught up in the ways of men, and that's gonna get that's gonna get them caught up in the ways of death, all right. And I'm just gonna get a few scriptures, man. I hope it's edifying, man. So this is uh Sirach one and twenty seven. It says, "For the fear of the Lord is wisdom, and instruction, and faith, and meekness are his delight." Come, on, man. It says the Lord is it says the fear of the Lord is wisdom and instruction, man. God, man. Cause what it says, it says, if you love me, keep my commandments. You know, that's that's showing fear to the Lord, man. You know. And also with the fear of the Lord, it says what comes with wisdom and instruction. Come, because the Lord is gonna direct you unto righteousness, man. If you if you trust in him, all right. If you trust in him and, and not leaning leaning onto your own understanding, you will be guided, you will be instructed, all right. In a well manner, all right. It says, "Distrust not the fear of the Lord when thou art poor." Come, because if you go into, if you go over to the to the next trap, the next chapter in Sirach two, it talks about how it says, "Whatsoever is brought upon thee, take cheerfully when thou art changed to a lower state, man." It come, man, because we are in the times of Jacob's trouble. We are in the times of distress. All right, we're in the times of trouble. All right, so hey, in due time, and in, in a lot of times, we're gonna see how. This system is going to be tra tra transferred from the, the the fiat currency to the to the to the digital currency. We're going to see how, you know, you know when when that system will change, man. You know, we're dealing with the cryptocurrency, cryptocurrency in, in the blockchain. All right, a, a lot of people are going to be changed to a lower state, man. Especially the righteous men who don't who don't who don't trust in the system, man. You know, who don't. You know what I'm saying? Because like, hey, um, it's gonna come a time where where the hour of temptation is gonna come. All right, where where you're not gonna be able to buy or sell, man. You're not gonna be able to to to, to do anything, man. And it, and it's and it's showing right now in today's time, man. We seeing how we seeing how things are are, are navigating to to the end. All right, we seeing the uprising of the people. We seeing uproars of the people. We seeing different plagues being released upon the earth man all right so hey man trouble is near and and, and trusting in the lord is going to be uh your safety man a safety man you know what i'm saying that's why we're supposed to be building up building ourselves up in this spiritual house man trusting in the lord and not in men because men is gonna fail thee every time especially the unfaithful man <laughs> you know Verse 29, it says, or, or, or verse 28, it says, Distrust not the fear of the Lord when thou art when thou art poor, and come not unto him with a double heart. Come, man, because what it says, it says a, a double-minded man is unstable in all his ways, man. All right, so a double-minded is unstable in all his ways. Come, man, because uh, what it says, uh, let me get it real quick. Right, this is Matthew six and twenty four. Because it says a, a double minded man is is unstable in all his ways. This is Matthew six and twenty four. It says no man can serve two masters, 
for either he will hate the one and love the other, or else he will hold to the one and despise the other. You cannot serve Yahweh and Mammon. All right. So you cannot serve two sides. You got to be with the, that one or you be with the other. All right. It's just it says you're going to either hate the one or you're going to love the other. All right. And we seeing clearly how our people are cleaved unto Mammon, all right? They're not they're not cleaving unto Yahweh by Shem Yahweh Shah. And that's the and that's the reason why we're in this captivity today, man. All right. It says verse 29, it says, Be not a hypocrite in the sight of men, and take good heed what thou speakest, man. Because what everything that's that, 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 that a man speaks is gonna be accounted thereof in the time of judgment, whether it be good or whether it be, it be bad, man. So make sure you speaking the, the, the righteous things of the Lord, man. Make sure you you walking in the walking that walk of the Lord, man, so you could be presented, approved, or accepted in the time to come, all right, so what, be not, a, be not a hypocrite in the sight of men, all right, this is Jeremiah 17 and 5, it says, it says, it says thus the Lord, Yahweh, Yahweh, Shah, cursed be the man that trusteth in man, and make of flesh his arm, and whose heart departeth from, from the Lord, come on, man, it says, it says, Cursed be the man that trusteth in man and make a flesh his arm, man. Con, cause uh you making flesh your arm, you making flesh your strength, you know. You know, you're not you're not you're not you're not you're not going according to the spirit, you you're going uh, uh, according to the flesh, man. Being carnal, man. A being carnal minded is gonna it's gonna have you cleave unto the flesh every time, man. But if you're thinking spiritual, all right, cause what it says the um the flesh is um the flesh is weak, but the spirit is willing. The spirit is willing, but the flesh is weak, man. You know, and if you if you cleaving onto the flesh, man, like like most of our people are doing, all right, they they're departing themselves from the Lord, man. All right, because you know they're not trusting in the Lord, they're not trusting in His guidance, they're not trusting in the words that's that's, that's been spoken, man. You know, hey, it says it says, "Cursed be the man that trusteth in man and make a flesh his arm." Hey, just just like um, how people um, let me go to it. It's a, this is Isaiah thirty. Come on, here you go. Isaiah thirty and one. It says, "Woe to." It says, "Woe to the rebellious children," saith the Lord. That take counsel, but not of me, and that cover with a covering, but not of my spirit, that they may add sin to sin. And that's that's what our people are doing, because they, they are attached to the flesh, you know. They've been a rebellious nation by still not hearkening to the Lord, you know. They're not, they're still not taking counsel from the Lord, man. Hey, that the Lord have his mouthpieces out there on the highways and byways, the, the true councilman, all right, giving edification and reproof to the people. But our people are still despising it. They're still not taking the counsel of the Lord. They're not taking the covering of the Lord. All right. And it says, Woe to them that make 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 men uh make men's arm his flesh. All right. It says, Woe to the rebellious children, saith the Lord, that take counsel, but not of me, and that cover with a covering, but not of my spirit. That they may add sin to sin. Con it says that that walk to go down to into Egypt and have not asked at my mouth to strengthen themselves in the strength of Pharaoh and to trust in the shadow of Egypt. Alright, because Con they're not they're not asking the Lord for these things, man. Alright, they're just going to they're just going according to their own ways, man. And that's what's that's that's the, that's what that's what's causing our people to go into that ditch, man, every time. Because they're trusting in the shadow of Egypt, you know. Egypt is, is bondage, man. They're trusting in, in this captivity, this this systematic cap captivity that we are in. He said they have not asked at the mouth to, to strip themselves, you know what I'm saying? God, leave, man. Our people still are stiff-necked people. Isaiah 31 and 1, it says, Woe to them that go down to Egypt for help. And stay on horses and trust in chariots, because they are many, and in horsemen, because they are very strong. But they look not unto the Holy One of Israel, neither seek the Lord.
gone. Our people are still cle cleaving on to the system. They're still cle cleaving on to this money. They're still cleaving on uh, onto, onto these on uh, these armies, man. Hey, hey, because man, hey, our people are destroyed for lack of knowledge, man. Woe to them that go down to Egypt for help. You know, woe to them that go down to Egypt for help. Woe to them that that go down to men asking for help, man. Instead of asking for the strength, you know what I'm saying, from, from your how about your shy. You know, instead of asking for guidance, man. You know, from the Lord, man. But they're about to get guidance from a from from a, a unfaithful man. A, a man that that, 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 that that cannot be trusted, man. The wicked one, the so called Caucasian race. That's who our people go to. They go in the master still. They they're still caught up in that Stockholm syndrome mindset, man. And they and they're gonna and they're gonna stay there if they if they if they keep on taking on the covering of men versus the covering of the, of the Lord, man. You know? Verse 2, it says, Yet yet he also is wise and will bring evil and will not call back his words, but will arise against the house of the evildoers and against the help of them that work iniquity. Con, so both sides... I, the so-called Negroes, like Latinos, Native Americans, and also the wicked. All right, they're gonna be. They're gonna. They're gonna. They're gonna be what? Demolished from the Lord, man. It says, He said He will bring evil upon them. That's 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 working it working in the uh, the works of iniquity, man. Jeez, man. Proverbs 25 and 19. Conf confidence in an unfaithful man in the time of trouble is like a broken tooth and a foot out, out of joint. Hey Amen. That's that's a, that's a very painful thing, man, to, 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 to go through, to deal with, man. And for our people to have confidence in these unfaithful men, all right, especially in these times, man, shit, I wouldn't say especially shit at all. You know, as a whole, our people are still putting their confidence in these unfaithful men, man. And they're gonna see, they're gonna see, and they're gonna feel what it what it what it feels like, man. To 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 get the uh, deceived, man, or to uh to be led to slaughter, man. You know, cause that's that's, that's the path that, that they are on. You know, falling after men, they're gonna they're gonna fall with men. They're gonna fall by the sword, cause what the scripture says, it says the the slain of the Lord shall be many. All right, so it's going to be a lot of slaughter going on in, in these times to come, in these latter times, man. And and, and, and we can see the buildup right now. This is Psalms 40 and 4. It says, Blessed is the man that make of the Lord his trust, and respect of not the proud, nor such as turn aside to lies. Conquer the Lord is not dealing with an a, a, a unstable man. A, a double-minded man is unstable in all his ways. The man, the Lord is not dealing with these unfaithful men, but he's dealing with the righteous. He's dealing with the meek, the lowly, the humble, all right, that trust in him. God, it says, blessed is, blessed is that man that make of the Lord his trust, man, all right? Because what? Hey, uh, blessed is the man that, that, that they go up to the Lord for help, you know? Hey, the Lord, the, the Lord know what we're going through, man. Hey, the, the, the Lord knows his sheep, his sheep as well. And he hears them, all right? It says, blessed is the man that make of the Lord his trust in respect of not the proud. We don't respect the proud, all right? The pr pride is an, ab it's an abomination to the Lord, you know? The Lord not dealing with proud, proud for men, you know? He dealing with the the meek and the and the lowly, you know, like like the uh, the brother uh Marzan did a lesson on. It says pride goes before destruction, you know. And a haughty look before um for a fall, man. We're for paraphrasing, man. Hey, our people are full of pride. Even Esau, e Esau is the, is the one who has the the most pride, you know. But what it says, it says uh. Ye are your father the devil. Two thirds of our people are falling after Esau, man. Mm -hmm. Being more wicked than he is, man. Hey, so what, what what's gonna happen? This death and destruction to those who who 
who who who um who go up contrary against the Lord, man. This is Psalms 33 and 16. There is no king saved by the multitude of an host. A mighty man is not delivered by much strength. And horse is a vain thing for safety. Neither shall he deliver any by his great strength. Con. Since there is no king saved by the multitude of a host, man. And so hey, there's no multitude of people or any entity or any type of person or thing that can come and redeem you. All right. It says a mighty man is not delivered by much strength, man. Hey, so no mighty men, no one can save you, man. No one can redeem you except Yahweh Shah. Yahweh bought from Yahweh Shah, man. You know, and it says in, in a horse, in a horse is a vain thing for safety, man. Like these armies, that's, that's a vain thing for safety, man. Our people have great pride in the in these armies, man, thinking that they're gonna save them, but in due time, they, they're not. Hey, hey, we're gonna we're gonna see that a. Hey, the armies that's over here, they're going to be out there fighting, man. You know, we're going to have foreign troops, some foreign troops over here. You know what I'm saying? In the times of, of affliction. All right. What, you know, I'm just saying that to say, you know, our people put all this trust in these, in, in, in the army, you know, and they're not going to, they're not, they're not, they're not, they're not, they're not even going to be able to, to save you because they're going to be trying to protect their, protect their, their loved ones, man. You know, in a time of distress. So, what 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 faith you gonna have then? You know, if you're not gonna have any solid protection, man, in those times to come. You know, because what it says in um, Proverbs 18 and 10, it says the, the name of the Lord is a strong tower, and the righteous run up into it and it's safe, man. So the righteous is gonna be safe, all right. The ones that call upon the the, the Lord's true name, Yahweh, why Yahweh Shah, and also trust in their righteous ways and, and, and the ones that that's hearkening into, into what they are saying, you know, they're going to be safe in the time of trouble. But those people, two thirds of our people who are not listening to the Lord and still being a backsliding nation. All right. It's going to, it's going to feel that pain. It's going to feel that travail. Verse 18 says, behold, the eye of the Lord is upon them that fear him. Upon them that hope in his mercy to deliver their soul from death and to keep them alive in famine. Come on, man. So the righteous is going to be protected, man. And the unrighteous is, is the unrighteous is going to dwell in torment. All right. Verse 20. Our soul waited for the Lord. He is our help and our shield for our heart shall rejoice in him because we have trusted in his holy name. Let thy mercy, O Lord, be upon us according as we hope in thee. God, because the scripture says to hope to the end, you know, hope and faith work off hand in hand, you know, as well as trust, man. You know, you have to have one or the other, uh, you know, you, you, you're going to have one one or the other when, you, when you're trusting in the Lord, man. But when you're trusting in the Lord, you're having faith in the Lord, man, you know. Hey, but uh, I just want to bring a few scriptures out, man, because trusting in the system, trusting in, the, in, in men, all right, it's not going to deliver you in a time of trouble, man, all right? But the Lord will, if you're doing according to what he say, if you're following after his righteous path, man, going, going according to what the prophet's been saying from, from back then to now, you know, giving that good, that good gospel to the people. All right, so with that being said, I'm going to say shalom.